But tonight's history moment is on the Queen's English, or how we learned to talk when we grew up. Between 1715 and the American Revolution, it's estimated that 250,000 Scotch-Irish made the journey to America. Now, that's not many Mexicans, but uh, there's a lot of Scotch-Irish. <laughs> As they made their way into the hills and mountains and valleys of our part of East Tennessee, they brought with them the English that was spoken before and during the time of the first Queen Elizabeth, often called Elizabethan English or the Queen's English. Many of us learned to speak the way these early settlers, our ancestors, spoke. But over the years, as other people have moved into our area, many of us have forgotten how to speak the Queen's English. <laughs> History reminds us how we used to sound. Well, the immigrants from Scotland brought a love for the R, as in far for fire, or har for hair, and bar for bear. They also used the R in words that ended in the O-H, O-H sound, or the O sound, such as holler for hollow, winder for window, tater for potato. They added an H to emphasize certain words, as in hit for it, and left off the G at the end of words beginning in I and G, like lightning instead of lightning. They also added extra words for emphasis, or to help clarify what they meant such as might, could, or should, as in we might, should tell him, or, or done, as in they have done landed in jail again, <laughs> or added an A at the beginning of words, such as he come a-running at me, and used like to or like to, like to, as in I got lost and like to never found my way out. Now, now, do any of y'all know how to still talk that way a little bit? Good. Well, you're, you're the, the queen would be proud of you that you've kept that heritage going. Well, <laughs> they used old words such as breeches for trousers, poke for bag, uh, salad for salad, as in poke salad, afeard for afraid, fixing for getting ready, as in I'm fixing to do something, Allow for suppose, as in, I'll allow how I might up and do it. So <laughs> how did we forget to speak the Queen's English? Those of you, how many of you have forgotten how? Any, most of y'all are my age, so you haven't forgotten completely. But I don't, some of the young folks, I'm, I'm sure, haven't learned. Well, I guess we were just finishing up the job of throwing off the Queen uh, so long ago. Language is complicated has many varieties and accents, and is constantly changing. You know, people moving into this area are going to bring a different way of talking, I'm sure, and lots of them are coming in, so it's going to be interesting. Oh, Lord, help us understand each other, and Lord, help us to understand you.